Okay, and welcome back to the channel. So, it's been kind of a lazy day. Did a walk early this morning. Might go out late tonight for another walk. I don't quite know yet. But, I do want to talk about my IFAC. Which is this guy right here. So, before I dive into that, I just want to make it known that this IFAC is not 100% complete. It is... In my opinion, to a point where it could still potentially save my life, but it is not perfect. There's a lot of stuff that I need to do, there's a lot of stuff that I need to change, and I have intentions to change them by finding the pieces I need to finish the puzzle. So let's get this turned around and actually kind of go over the contents of this iPhone. Okay. So here is my IFAC. This is my main primary um, first aid kit for my entire system. Oh, uh, and once again, and I'll probably say this a lot more, this is not 100% complete. There are still stuff that I need to do in between swapping things out and adding and all sorts of other stuff. This is constantly changing. So we're going to do this one handed because my other hand's holding the camera. But yes, let's talk about the outside. I keep my blood type on the outside that way. If I am hurt, injured, whatever, somebody is aware as to what blood type I have, which is B pos. On the side here, I do have a pair of cheap uh, medical scissors. I do want to upgrade these to a much better pair. I was almost thinking like the Raptor, Gerber, Raptor, whatever they are. Uh, these are just kind of a temporary pair that I put in here. Not the best, but not the worst. They work for now. Also, just some cheap little uh, uh, cheer holder that I got off Wish. Um, but yeah, let's try to open this with one hand oh and this is the EMT or Condor EMT light pouch I personally like this pouch not expensive easy to get maybe alright so this is the initial content that I have in this kit so right here I do carry maybe isn't the easiest to get out of there with one hand. You know what? Hold that thought. Okay, so I ended up just tearing everything out of the IFAC. It was a lot easier. See, here is the main pouch. It was a lot easier that way than to just try to sit there and do it one-handed. But yes, this is the list of contents that I have crammed inside of this guy so let's talk real quick and then we'll move into the stuff that 100% needs to get added into this so this is one of my primary tourniquets it is the recon medical tourniquet I know there's some issues going on with them I still like their tourniquets so I do carry them it'd be nice if they went back to selling these though uh, next on the list, I have packing gauze, which is also from Recon Medical, like the company. Uh, their version of like the Israeli bandage, um, one of these days I want to do a review on these because they are kind of nice to have. <sighs> Rubber gloves, because you know safety first and don't want to end up with some weird blood-borne bacteria whatever so it's always nice to have, make sure you have protection especially if you're working on somebody else you know you could get these for dirt cheap at the Dollar General or Walmart online whatever <clears throat> I do have this had this needs to be replaced um one of the I think it's the OP PA or OAP or something like that, but just an airway for if it goes in through the, or no, I think it's a nasal airway, something like that. It's been a while. 
But yes, I do keep one of these in here. I appear to have lost the um, lubricant for this to insert it easier, but it needs to be replaced anyways. It's been in this kit for a bit. Next on the list is these guys. Um, I do tend to get these any chance I get. Uh, it's Stop Bleed Powder, pretty much a clotting powder. They now sell them at Walmart, which is actually kind of cool. I've never actually physically had to use these, so I really don't personally know as to how good they are. But I figure for, it's like $5, they changed the price on it. It's $5 for a box of two of these, which for the price... I don't think it would be a bad idea to have a few of these on hand, you know, whether you're out doing whatever, you know, you never know when you're going to end up cutting yourself or end up with a hole that doesn't belong there. But yeah, I do keep three of these in there. <sighs> Moving on, gauze pads, you never know when you're going to need them. Um, cuts, scrapes, gunshots, you know the usual and then fine or no not finally uh emergency blankets uh usually when it comes to like i'm gonna try to word this the best of my ability when it comes down to like trauma you know the body tends to lose heat more so it's always nice to have something on hand to help retain that heat also from recon medical still love the company but yeah, it's nice to have these on hand. Plus, if you're ever stranded, they work really well as a reflector or as a uh, signal device. And finally, Sharpie. Um, part of me wants to add a black one to this, a red and a black one. I just not have not gotten around to doing it yet. But let's turn this camera around one more time find the end button hold on sorry I'm working with a new camera here so um that is the main contents of this IFAC it's my primary IFAC I, I do have smaller medical supplies throughout my kit but this is my main IFAC I know it's not perfect I'm well aware that it's not perfect and I have every intention to fix it to make it perfect um, things that I need to add. Chest seals. I have two chest seals getting ready to be ordered to be added into this. Uh, very important thing for an IFAC because, you know, you get shot in the chest, lungs, whatever. You can't really pop a tourniquet on there. That's where the chest seals come in. Other things is I've been considering as adding a decompression needle the only problem with that is I do not have the training to safely and effectively use a decompression needle. So, um, before that gets added into this kit, I want to make sure that I get the proper training for it. Um, but other than that, those are the two main things. Chest seals and um, the decompression needle. And then, you know, obviously swapping out this thing. And we'll probably want to hurt to swap these guys out too. But yeah, that's just my basic IFAC. You know, things go south. That's what I'm using. Um, always room for improvement. So if anybody can think of anything else that can be added in there. And this is one of two tourniquets that get ran that are on the kit. We'll go over that in a later video. But if anybody has any other ideas as to what can be added, what can be removed, etc., etc., please feel free to throw it in the comment section. But other than that, that's all I have for this video. Find the end button again. New camera.